Welcome to week one of the election campaign. The starting gun was fired when David Cameron asked the Queen to dissolve Parliament. We've now just got 35 days until polling day and we've got a whole lot of election pledges from the parties. Here are just some of them. David Cameron has promised to create an extra 2 million jobs over the next parliament. Ed Miliband said Labour would slash business rates for small firms, but would reverse the government's 1% corporation tax cut. UKIP, meanwhile, unveiled their pledge card, and the Liberal Democrats promised to spend $3.5 billion on mental health care in England. I hope you're keeping up. But the Lib Dems aren't going to have a very happy Easter since a poll from Lord Ashcroft revealed that the party faces decapitation at the general election. The survey of key Lib Dem marginals found that Labour's candidate, Oliver Coppard, is set to take Clegg's Sheffield Hallam seat. Coppard holds a two-point lead over the Deputy Prime Minister, who is facing a Michael Patillo type defeat in May. The Lib Dem leader retained the seat at the height of Clegomania in 2010, with a majority of more than 15,000 votes. But the research shows that Coppard is projected to take Clegg out, with a 19.5% swing from the Yellow Party to Labour. However, it's not all bad news this week for Clegg, as he got to meet up with the Only Ways Essex star, Joey Essex. The celebrity quizzed the Deputy Prime Minister about the forthcoming general election, and the two even took a selfie together. Essex even revealed that he had got Clegg's party's name wrong, calling them the Liberal Democrats. The admission was seized upon by the party, who promptly put a picture of a cute cartoon cat on their website. That's all your Westminster gossip and political news for this week. Be sure to check out ibtimes.co.uk forward slash politics for more.